Your favorite TV show might be turned to static next month if you don't know what to do. If you're using an antenna and you're getting the two, five, seven, all your local channels, those won't work anymore. Experts say the government, broadcasters, and consumers will benefit from going digital. It's going to free up a lot of uh, air, a lot of space on the airwaves uh, for other uses. The benefits of doing that is it allows that broadcaster to give the consumer more viewing options. They can essentially. Uh, broadcast a couple different things at the same time. Residents with cable or satellite providers don't need to worry about the switch. Mm -hmm. The nearly 15 percent of American households that will be affected have three options before their TV signal goes out. Families can buy a new TV, get a cable or satellite subscription, or buy a converter box. Well, I'm seriously considering uh uh, cable. Congress has created a program for residents to get coupons to help with the converter box purchase. However, the government has recently run out of coupons and money to fund them. And that's not the only problem. In addition, not enough converter boxes have actually been manufactured to meet the de demand. Officials with Consumers Union recently asked Congress to push back the date on the transition. But as for now, U.S. officials will continue to flip the switch from analog to digital on February 17th. I'm Jenny Barger for Naperville Community Television, Channel 17.